Okay, so I just kind of got out the shower. Um, I am in the middle of like dyeing my hair. Like I just dyed it and I've just washed it out. So if it looks darker, yay, it worked. For my makeup today, I am just going down to the beach for coffee with a few friends. So I'm just going to keep it very simple and natural. But I know I've been doing a lot of Get Ready With Me videos lately. But that's because I get a lot of positive feedback. I know a lot of you like Get Ready With Me. So I'm just kind of going to mush that all into one. Um, for my foundation, oh, by the way, I do have mascara on at the moment. So, also, I don't know if you noticed, but my eyebrows, I actually trimmed them the other day and I've never done anything to my eyebrows but wax in the middle, which I need to do because it's getting a little fluffy. I actually trimmed my eyebrow hair because before, like, I could do this and my eyebrow hair literally comes up to here. I had the longest man brows and now, like, I do that and they're still kind of neat. Which I find is really cool. I was really nervous, but I like how they turned out. I don't know if you, there's even a difference, but I noticed it. I think a light foundation on an Estee Lauder Double Wear Light. So I've been trying to do a lot more videos recently, and I know I always say this, I always say I'm going to do more videos, and I never actually do, um, but recently I have been, I must apologise for my lack of videos, because I have been just so busy. I got my licence, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know I got my licence, which I am super, super thrilled about. It was one of the things on my bucket list, so that was really cool, doing more proper videos soon as soon as possible like I'm filming um, this video whilst I'm like editing another video on my computer like I have a few videos coming up I think of anything else that's changed in my life recently apart from my eyebrows my hair color and I got my license <gasps> yes I can I nearly died the other day so well actually it was like a week or so ago oh by the way I'm just gonna be using concealer because I've had a little breakout but we're gonna ignore my breakout and put concealer all over it so like two weeks ago I was getting ready for work and it was about 7.20 and I hear this noise like this like distress noise and I hear a bit of screaming and stuff and like I walk out and I can hear my mum screaming and stuff I'm like mum what's going on what's going on and she was in her room and there was this huge spider on the wall like it was about that big no joke it was the size of my face and you might think I'm like oh yeah exaggerating I'm lying but no if you live in Australia you will know I'm not lying it was huge it was like the hairiest ugliest huge nasty monstrosity of a spider I really really hate spiders and my mother hates spiders and it was only me and my mum and my little brother and he hates spiders. He was behind my mum cowering, going, Ah, that spider! It was huge and it was just nasty and it... Ooh, I'm getting text. Usually when you see a spider, of course, the first thing you need to do is like murder it and kill it and squish it before anything can happen. Um, but this spider, it was on the top of the wardrobe and I'm only really short and my mum's only really short and so we couldn't actually reach it and we didn't want to go up there and try to reach it because if we tried to reach it, there's a chance it would like jump from the wall on top of us. And like, I don't want a spider size of a dinner plate on the top of my head. No, I can pass. Backing up and like rearing up. And it was like a dragon. Like, you know when they're like, Aah! So we're like, what do we do? What do we do? So we quickly grab the quick first things that come to our head. So like, I think I had uh, one of my dad's thongs, which was like about yay big, just rub a thong ready to squish it. Or oh, flip flops, if you're from America or anything flip-flops. I grabbed one of them and mum grabbed the other one and we're ready just in case it like fell or something. We could squish it if we wanted to get close enough. Oh, I'll go grab the Mortine spray. And my like, good idea. So I run into my room and I grab my hairspray and I've got the new Tresemme. Well, it was new at the time. It's about mm, that big. It's a big bottle of hairspray and it was brand new. And so I grabbed that and mum grabbed the Mortine spray and she sprayed it and it did nothing so I grabbed the hairspray and I sprayed it as well and we literally stood there for about five minutes just constantly spraying this beast of a spider and it just stood there like it didn't move or anything I'm like what what's going on and then as soon as we would stop spraying it would like it'll walk and stuff and usually like I've sprayed a spider with hairspray before like a really fluffy spider because I, I didn't have like bug spray or anything Actually, the hairspray like it crunches up their little fur on their legs and it like it makes them so they can't walk and they kind of just drop and you can squish them 
Though I expected that to happen because I could see it was like really, really hairy, this spider. Um, oh, by the way, I'm just using like a light brown eyeshadow for my eyes. And I see that, like, I could kind of see that um, with this spider that it was really fluffy. So I'm like, oh yeah, it'll just crunch up and fall and then I can squish it. Um, but that didn't happen. That did not happen. Just chilling up it and it would wait till we get like, our arms would get tired so we'd stop spraying. And it would like... It'll like shimmy across the wall a little bit and then shimmy back and then rear up again. It was so disturbing. And like mum was going from one angle with the mortine and I was going from one angle with the hairspray. And it would like, it would turn and face me if I got closer on its like little hind legs. And then if mum got closer, it would like turn and face her as well. Bido is like a ninja. Like it's not dying, what are we going to do? Because um, we don't want to like just let it be in the house. I'm like, no. That's just sitting there watching it like she stretched halfway through this and got her claws stuck in the curtain so I had to like go and help her and I'm like you're pathetic you're meant to be attacking the spider and she just sits there and like lays on her back and she's like meow the cats did nothing nothing at all um so at this point we're like oh no what are we gonna do you know I've got to get ready for work and I don't want to move until this thing is gone until it's dead until I can see evidence of its extinction but we're looking around the room and stuff like okay what's in here that we can use and my mum has like white spray paint in her room because she was gonna paint something I'm not quite sure what but she was gonna paint something and she had the white spray paint I'm like grab the spray paint and I sprayed it the amount of fumes in this small room at that moment it stung so bad I'm surprised the spider didn't die then because I, I could have died I think I was choking on the chemicals the spider just it like even the spray paint even the white spray paint this did not kill this evil Thing, would not die. Spraying this thing for about 20 minutes, it finally starts to move a little bit, so we would spray it some more every time it moved. Anyway, it finally, finally fell from the top of the cupboard down onto like a bag, what it could easily crawl inside of. So as soon as it fell, me and my mum were like, we pretty much pounced and we're like trying to spray it because it still like kept like twitching and stuff it didn't curl over yet so we sprayed it and it kind of fell off the bag and so it was on the floor and like this thing wouldn't die it had so much willpower to live like it did, did not die every time we sprayed it it would start crawling really fast and so we'd spray it so it'd stop and go the other way and so we're pretty much spraying the spider in different directions just to keep it still like it kind of slowed down a bit and we found a um glass dome thing i think it's like uh, like a glass lampshade or something. I'm not even sure what it was, but we found like a glass dome. And so I grabbed that one and when it slowly started to like stop moving, I popped that on top of it so it was like captured in this little doom cage so it couldn't escape. It smelled so bad at this point. It smelled horrendous. The amount of chemicals, like I think I died a bit that day. So at this point we're like, yes, yes, it's all over. It's all finished and done with. And so it's the carpets under here and then like the domes here and then the spiders here. And so I, st I got kind of close and I was looking at it I'm like, what kind of spider is this? And I was looking at it I'm like, wow, the white spray paint really made it go white. Well, hang on, that's a little bit too white. Oh, hang on, hang on. Evil beast of a spider the size of my face, like big, like it had freaky long legs and freaky fat body so in its last breath of air it decided that inside its little glass dome it was going to give birth to its demon spawn not only did it traumatize me with the fact that it was in our house this huge beast but it also traumatized me with the miracle of birth so that is a tale of how i almost died I happened to have my phone on me and I did take a photo of the size of the spider because it sounds really exaggerated when I say it was like the size of my hair, like a dinner plate size. Um, but like I said, it is Australia and anything can happen, especially when it's referring to the size of things from nightmares. So it was on this brown wood railing that we have on the top of the wardrobe and the railing is about that big, just so you can kind of get a rough idea. The railing is like the size of my hand here to here. like. And so you can kind of see the size of the spider on that railing. That's the size of my hand. And this was taken from the distance and I kind of zoomed up because I was not getting close to that. I feel really weird because um, I remember I did a video ages ago about how I nearly died because I had a cockroach on my leg when I was driving. Um, if you want to see that video, I will link that down below. And now I'm doing one about this huge spider. And I don't know, maybe I should like make a series of my near death experiences. Um, but 
but I can't really think of anything else like I had the cockroach, had the spider and I choked on cheese wrapper once but I don't think that counts so I feel kind of you know bad because I know a lot of people out there like my boyfriend um, they go through actual things that are like near-death experiences like here's doing in a car crash all that kind of stuff and I'm here I'm like but it was a big spider it was like a huge spider I have any freaky tales please let me know in the comments down below because I would like to know that I'm not the only crazy one what would you have done so yeah apart from that I don't think anything too new has happened in my life final look the makeup is very natural for my hair can you guys see how nice the dark color is I love this color mahogany I got this headband in and it's just got two flowers on it and I can't quite remember exactly where I got this headband from for earrings I kept it really simple I just put two little sparkly studs in and then two on this side and then I got my ear legs which is healing so well it's healing so much better this time around than the first time I got it done and then for my jumper I'm just wearing this plain pink jumper which I got from Valley Girl and I've also got my necklace on and it says Cassie I used to have a silver one and it said Cassie and that was from mynecklace.com here is gold and it's from onecklace.com and it says Cassie but it's in the Carrie style one like from Sex and the City that's where she used to wear the Carrie necklace it's the same style as that one so I've got that and I really like it because it goes with everything I've been wearing it continuously lately just because it's so simple but it goes with everything. Then I just got my guest watch on which some of you may have seen on my Instagram. I love it. It's my favourite. Can you guys see the hair dye still on my arm? We're going to cover that up. For jeans which are my baggy jeans. I think they're like in the boyfriend style. These are like the comfiest jeans. They're from Sports Girl and they can roll up here but I don't want them rolling up. I'll probably just leave them down to keep me nice and warm. Shoes. I couldn't find any warm shoes that would go so I'm just going to wear like 